So I've been knitting yesterday and today, and I've got this kind of, been playing with this kind of variation of the King Charles brocade, excuse me, <coughs> King Charles brocade stitch pattern. And uh, so usually if you do a King Charles brocade, which is diamond brocade doubled, um, usually it goes in a straight line. And what I've been doing is I've been putting it offset. So here's the one that goes straight across. And then there's one above and one below, you see, instead of them, uh, both of them going straight across, there's kind of a break. And that makes the, the diamond a little taller. And then what I've done is I've put two rows of just plain stitches right across in between. And rather than continue with this diamond pattern, I've put the next row the low spot into the low spot and made this. So I haven't written it out at all, but if anyone wants to do one just like it, you're welcome to use it to look at it from the stitches and see what I'm doing with it. And, uh, you know, try what you can with it. Um, I, I, I don't have a name for it, but I was thinking of calling it, uh, instead of King Charles Brocade, since, since this is a different version, and it looks a little like the stripes on a certain comic strip character's shirt, maybe call it Charlie Brocade. So <laughs> if you want to try doing this and you feel a need to call it something, call it Charlie Brocade, okay? Okay, so if you decide to do it, have fun.